Ah, uh, what's up guys? So, I'm gonna be taking you guys on a uh, ride with me today as I do this vlog. I got some things to do here around town. So right now I'm chilling out here at the pool over at Resorts World. To give you guys a shot of this, got an interview to do a little bit later, and I uh, got somewhere else I'm going later tonight with some special guests that you guys are probably gonna recognize. So right now, I'm at the Resorts World pool. Yeah! So go ahead, hit the like button, and come along for the ride with me. Okay guys, so I'm here hanging out the pool, cruising around, Whoa. and turned out today... There's a leaf in my hair. Today's a special day because I met this lovely young waitress here who is so nice and so sweet. What is your name? Mariah. Mariah. And you are here today, and today is what day for you? It is my birthday. She, I am working on my birthday. She's working on her birthday in Vegas, man. Can you guys believe that? Well, all right, so here's what we're going to do, guys. Just wish Mariah a happy birthday down there in the comments section. And whenever you come here to uh, resorts where you come to the pool, come ask for her, right? Yay! <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now done here at Resorts World. So I'm a little hungry, though. So I think it's time to move on and uh, grab some food. Okay, so I made a little bit of a drive here to downtown Las Vegas. I'm going to do something you guys haven't seen me do on the channel in a long time, and that is eat a taco. I am down over here. I am just north of Fremont Street, you guys. I am at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Bonanza. Coming over here to the Taqueria to eat. This place used to be a gas station, but it's no longer a gas station anymore. They're open 24 hours a day. It says, welcome to Taqueria Casa de Sabor. It means a house of flavor. So I'm gonna grab a taco here. I've never eaten here before. We're gonna see what it's like. Uh, buenas. Hola. ¿Podrías tener un taco de carne asada? A veces con la misma horna o separada. Ah, uh, separada. Separada. All right. So it turns out they actually have two locations. This one right here on Las Vegas Boulevard in Bonanza, and they have another one over on um, Sahara. So they have another one over on Sahara. When you guys get here, if you want to eat here, they don't have tables set up, but they do have like some countertops right here that I'm using uh, right behind the taco truck itself. So you guys can actually see into downtown Las Vegas behind me right here. That's where I'm at. So it's just north of Fremont Street. This taco was $2.50. Whoa. There you go. Woo. Oh, I love all that protein. It's tasty. It's cooked just right. Not overcooked, not undercooked. And I'm just a protein lover. You guys know that you can watch this channel for a minute. Mmm. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! All right. Taco was awesome, although I screwed up. You can tell it's been a minute since I've had a taco because I didn't put any lime on, I didn't put any green sauce, I just ate that thing so quick. <laughs> hey, but just as it was, the taco was great. Definitely worth coming down here just north of Fremont Street to come grab a taco, grab a burrito, grab whatever you want. But now it's time to move on to somewhere else. We have now made it to our next spot here in Las Vegas that is just barely, barely off Las Vegas Boulevard. A very popular spot that only locals know about, almost no tourists know about this place. And it is called Love It Frozen Custard. Just talking with one customer here, says he's been coming here since the 1950s. You guys can see where I'm at, north of the Strat. There is Las Vegas Boulevard right there. This is Las Vegas Boulevard in Oki. That's where I'm at right now, right across from where um, used to be the uh, White Cross store where Vicky's Diner used to be. That's where we are. You can truly walk right over here. 
Now, one of the things this place is really known for is having a whole heck of a lot of different flavors and choices that you can choose from when you come here. They have cones, they have cups, they have sundaes, they have quarts to go. They have so many flavors to choose from right here behind me, as you can see on the wall. Just got a small chocolate here, four ounces, $1.95 for this. If you just want to have a little bit and you don't want to go overboard, this is your option. Mmm. I have not had a dessert in so long, so this tastes absolutely amazing to me. The place has been here, like I said, one customer says he's been coming here since the 50s, so they're obviously doing something right if they've been around that long. And it tastes amazing. So, if you guys love frozen yogurt, you'll love this. There you go. Ah, it's the simple things in life, like four ounces of uh, chocolate frozen custard that can make a big break. So that was awesome, that was tasty. Little hidden gem for you guys here on the Vegas Strip if you wanna come on your vacation or if you're local and you wanna come try it. It's an awesome spot, been there for decades. Now, we're moving on again. So you had a pretty bizarre start yeah. on your first night. You got broken into the industry in a pretty awkward way. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about in the years you've been doing it since then, other weird customers or rude customer experiences you've had. Because I mean, things bizarre things happen for sure clubs. Well, the rudest customers to me are. Okay, that part of my day is now done. You guys got to see that uh, pretty lady there who was on the video. Uh, There's a little bit of behind the scenes footage for you guys. So guys, that woman there is named Marina. And Marina agreed to do an interview on the channel talking about stripping here in Las Vegas. So she has years of experience in stripping. Some of you guys contributed to the questions that were asked in that video that will be coming out later. So if you guys aren't subscribed, you're probably gonna wanna see that. But uh, that's what she was here to do today. So been a long day for me but it's not over i got one other thing i'm doing some uh, another fun thing today with a couple people you guys have absolutely seen on the channel before so gotta go home chill out for a little bit and then i will uh, do one other activity tonight So we made it to the escape room here. This is a new one inside of Caesar's Palace called the Escape Game. They got a couple new games. They asked me to come on down here and try this out, but I am not alone. There's a very, very familiar face here on the channel you guys have seen several times before. You guys all know who he is. <laughs> hey, Bob, what's up? Was that a good intro? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> it was your first escape room, right? Yeah, first escape room. Yeah. Okay. If, if it gets too scary, you can hold your hand. Yeah, I have Greta here actually. Oh yeah, Greta's here too. Sorry, Greta. Come on. I'm the bodyguard. Yeah, she's the bodyguard. Greta's the bodyguard for all this. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get going here in just a minute. So we have just over 41 minutes left. So there's our timer. We have just over 41 minutes before they cut off the oxygen in this place. And so far, we've gotten two of the things done. So we're moving, we're doing well. Greta's basically like most of the brains of this. Yeah. 
Yay! Job well done. Awesome work. <laughs> We're <laughs> geniuses. Thanks for the extra time. Of course. Yes, you have seven seconds left on the clock, which is astounding. It's also for you, for your parking as well. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I am back home, as you guys can tell. It was a long day, and it was a fun day, but uh, it was cool. So that uh, escape room we did, uh, myself, Pompsy, and Norma, um, that was fun. So they invited us to come down there, and um, they did let us do the room for free. But normally that room, just so you guys know, is about $39. I think all their rooms are, except for they do have one with kids, uh, where they do allow kids to go, and it's, I think, $42. I believe kids five and under are free. The rooms, I think they're all two to eight people is what you're going to need. Typically lasts about an hour or so. They had to give us some extra time on ours though because that was hard. There's no way you're going to finish that room in one hour without any hints or anything like that. So it was fun. It was challenging. Um, appreciate the invite. That was fun. Like I said, today was a long day for me, but I did want to share a lot of stuff with you guys in this vlog. I ended up going to more places than I thought I would, but hey. I figured I'll share with you guys. You guys will probably enjoy seeing all this stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being so awesome. That's it for this video. I am tired, but I'm still Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.